Let's get into routing now. Right now we have our home page, which is going to have our contact component, our contact page. And also if we scroll down, we have our home page. Now this won't really do for a real world application, right? We're not going to show all our pages on one route. Let's see how we can route two separate pages to two separate components. And the Angular CLI already created an app routing module for us. Makes this very easy. So we'll go source, app, app routing module. And we talked about this routes array a little bit earlier. Here is where we define our routes. We're going to have two routes. One is path is blank, which is the home page. Component, and notice how TypeScript automatically tells us, do you want the component property? Yes, I do. Home component. And since VS Code knows that this exists, TypeScript knows it exists, it'll help us do the import. So watch as I click this, the import automatically happens at the top of this page. There we go. And it is relative path, so it's going slash home slash home component. And when you're doing ES6 imports, you can remove the .js or .ts. It's already implied. So this is the home component route. And then we're also going to have another one for path contact. And notice I'm not putting the forward slash there. That's totally fine. Component is the contact component. And that's it. Now our home page will show the home component and our contact page will show the contact component. All of the backend stuff is handled by the Angular router and the Angular CLI. Now, right now our application is still going to show contact and home on the same page. Let's go into app component.ts. Inside of our template, let's remove both of these. So now all we have is app header, router outlet, and app footer. And for the home page, we show the home component. If we go to slash contact, we get the contact component. Very nice. Now, we don't really expect our users to type in the URL every single time, so we're going to need some links in our header. Let's go over to our header component. And this uh, is going to be a little bit more HTML because of the way Bulma structures its nav bars. So we have our logo here. We're going to say here, we're going to have the menu, div class navbar menu, div class navbar start. And the reason that Bulma does navbar start is because there's also a navbar end. So if you want links on the left side versus links on the right side, I'll show you that. A class navbar item, home, and then also for contact. Now, Bulma is hiding these, I think, because, yeah, because our it's trying to be responsive and helpful, so it hides them on smaller screens. So just zoom out if you don't see yours. There we go, home and contact. Yeah, home and contact. And then if we did navbar end, it goes to the end. Very nice. So put them wherever you like. But home and contact, these are only HTML links, and they don't really do anything right now, right? We need to actually tell Angular hey, these links are going to be routing for us. Now to do that, we're going to use what's called a router link. And this is how Angular routes to different sections. Router link, home page, router link, contact page. So now if I click home, home page, contact, home, contact, home, contact. Very nice. And notice there's no page refresh since Angular helps us make single page applications, right? Very responsive, very quick to change between routes. And that's all it takes to do routing. You just add the routes in app routing module right here, and then you add the links, and that's it. Everything gets injected into that app component.ts router outlet right here. So all of our pages will have the header and the footer, and then everything else gets injected in router outlet. I want to take a step back now and let's talk about the foundations of Angular. And I'll, we'll just have, instead of slides, we're going to do this right in our editor. So the way that Angular works is it has a couple different concepts around it. And the first one is going to be modules. Now modules are going to be the way that we can organize parts of our Angular applications into sections. And if we open up app module and zoom out, since that is giant let's zoom out a little okay now what happens here is we have our 
imports are ES6 imports. And you'll see a lot of ES6 imports in Angular. You'll see it a lot in React. That's just the way that the JavaScript world is moving. And I really like the import statements because instead of just trying to grab things globally, like if you're using jQuery, you just use dollar sign and maybe you didn't load the jQuery library yet, dollar sign wouldn't work. But here we'll know exactly what we're using. Now declarations, we're using app component. Imports are the modules we're importing. Providers are services. And Bootstrap is what's going to start our application. So I know that sounds like a lot, but really an ng module, and this is what's called a decorator. And a decorator is a way we can add extra metadata to this class. So instead of configuring all this stuff inside the class, we can say declarations here. We're just adding a decorator here. So this kind of tells this class what it's going to be using. So we have our main app module, and this is where we're going to register everything for this main part of our application. Now, the cool thing is, is you noticed that when we did our demo, the user section was lazy loaded. We told the user section, hey, load this users module, which we'll create in a later lesson. And that's how lazy loading works. These modules help Angular to know what sections are what in our application. So if we want to use something, just remember to register it in a module, and then our Angular will know that it exists and know how to use it. Let's step forward into our component. And here is our component template right here. And actually, let's show this off. We're going to open up our, well, let's exit out of this. And I want to use the built-in VS Code terminal. Now, my Angular site, the way that we run an Angular application, if you're using the Angular CLI, is ng serve. Now the Angular CLI went and served our application. It built out five files, inline, main, polyfill, styles, and vendor. And then we can go over to our Chrome localhost 4200 is where our Angular app gets started. And here is our main app component. You can see welcome to app. Let's split this out to the right. We'll split this out to the left. Close that, close this. And the cool thing about the Angular CLI, as soon as we save any files, it will automatically update the browser. So this is our full template, and this is a lot of stuff here. We're not even gonna need this. Let's delete all of this. And the router outlet is needed. That's where our routes are gonna get output to. And we're gonna say, hello, I am an Angular application. And for fun, let's do an emoji for fire. Save and then watch the right side immediately get updated. So Angular CLI handles all of this for us. It's using Webpack under the web. It's using Webpack Dev Server to do all of this hot reloading and fun stuff. So that's what the Angular CLI does for us, right? We start up our application with one line and then we serve it with one line and then we can just start working and it automatically updates. But this is going to be the foundation for an Angular component. We have our component decorator, and then we have our component class and our template. And we'll see how we can build out more components really soon, but components are a really good way to build up our application into modularized parts. And then we'll look at our app routing module, const routes. This is where we're gonna be writing out our routes. And the cool thing about TypeScript, if you're not sold on TypeScript. And I wasn't at first, but now I'm a really big fan of TypeScript. Where did that come from? TypeScript, by typing things, it helps you to find errors quickly. And also it self-documents your code. So you know that these, this routes, and you could totally do it without the typings, right? Well, you can say just const routes is equal to, uh, I don't know, let's write in some random path is going to be blank and the component we're gonna use and here, let's talk about component name. We'll say home component. And that'll be something we build, right? But if we don't know what's going on in this routes, okay, path, component name, this probably won't work because it won't work. We would have to go into the Angular documentation, find the routes documentation, and figure out exactly what to call this route, how we would create this route. But since we had routes here, and we'll click Save. Angular and TypeScript can tell us that we're already making errors. So if I hover over this, it'll say, 
component name is not assignable to a route. Oh, okay. Well, let's try a component. Okay. So we'll delete that. Component is now normal. No errors there. If we go to home component, cannot find name home component. So this TypeScript is really, really good at finding errors for us before we actually go to our browser and have to inspect element over there. So if we do this and I start typing, let's delete that. If I start typing in component, Angular and TypeScript already know, hey, do you want to use component? So this is what we call self-documenting and the typings from TypeScript help us build faster. So we'll say, okay, I want component, home component, and we haven't defined that yet, but that's kind of the idea behind TypeScript is by using types and saying, oh, this is going to be of type routes, this array, it helps us to build faster because our documentation is right in our editor. So that's the routing module. And then notice we have the router module. We're exporting the routing module. And if we go back to, I don't, do I need to save that? Yeah, I do need to save that. So let's save this, close that, close a couple more things. And let's go back into app module. Notice that our app routing module is here. So this ng module, this main app module is where we register everything and we'll see that soon. So this is kind of the foundation of an Angular application. You have modules, you have components, and all of those get put together to build out our app.